Alright guys and welcome back to episode 3 of my trading to 250k series and as you can see just by looking at some of the players that I've bought already I've actually bought um, quite a few new players as you can see I've bought a bunch of Rubinos and um, yeah I bought these for a range of different prices as you can see the first one here in a 4-4-2 formation for 10 and a half k a 4-5-1-1 for 9 and a half k and then a 4-4-1-1-1 Four four one one one. That sounds weird, but yeah, uh, I bought him for ten k, and I'll be looking to sell these for around twelve k each. So I should make a um, fairly nice profit on them, around two k profit on each one. So that's about uh, two four six k just from the Rubinos. Then again, moving on to the next player, I managed to actually pick myself up Perlos again, and so far through this uh, trading series, Perlos really have been like the key players to uh, make my money. And as you can see, here, a four four one 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 which again sounds weird I am um, bought him for seven and a half K and in the previous episode I actually managed to sell him for nine and a half K but in this episode I might actually um just list him for nine and a half K and then put a buy it now price on for 10k and um, yes yeah, see if they sell then moving on to the next two players these are actually uh, two new players as well so like the Rubinos I actually got a 41212 Steven Gerrard for 5k and a bit of an experiment here, I don't know whether he'll actually um, go for a lot of profit but I'll try and sell him for around 6.5k to try and make a 1.5k profit on him and uh, yeah, just see how quickly he sells to see whether he'll be worth um, buying in the future. Then the next player is a Santi Cazorla in a centre attacking mid and yet the, the Steven Gerrard was in centre attacking mid as well. And he's in a 4-5-1 formation, this Santi Cazola. Bought him for 4k and I think I should be able to easily sell him for 6k. So I'll be able to get a 2k profit on him. Then these next two players are both pair lows. One's in a 4-5-1 and one's in a 4-4-1-1 formation. And I bought one of them for 7 k and the other one for 7.6k. And again, like I said with the previous pair low, I'm going to try and sell them for around um, 10k. And hopefully make at least a 2k profit and possibly a 2.5k profit on each one of them. Right guys, so as you can see, once again I'm back in the trade pile. And that is because all my players have actually sold. So starting off, as you can see here, my 4411 Perlo actually sold for 10k. And I think I bought all the Perlos for 7,500 queens. So that's a really nice profit for him. And he sold really quickly. So again, Perlo is definitely a player I will definitely be buying in the next episode. Then moving on to the next player, which is a 4-5-1 Rubinho. This was actually the first time I'd bought any Rubinhos. So um, it was kind of like a little tester to see if he is worth buying. And I bought all the Perlo, uh, sorry, all the Rubinhos ranging from 9,500 queens to 10,500 queens. And as you can see, managed to sell this one for 12k and the Rubinho sold within the hour. They actually sold all of them about on the 40 minute mark. So, you know, definitely be doing Rubinho again because it's a really quick 2k profit and he sells uh, pretty quickly. Then next, going on to the Steven Gerrard. It's actually a 4-1-2-1-2 Steven Gerrard. And he was, in a, he was a centre attacking mid card. And I did buy him for 5k. I was looking to get around 7k from him originally. But he was a bit hard to sell and I thought... And as you can see, I put a start price of 6,000 queens and a buy it now price of 6,500 queens. And I was looking to get um, more on the upper end of that, around 6,500. But nevertheless, he did sell for 6k. And uh, still, that is a 1k profit on Steven Gerrard. But to be honest, I'm not going to be buying him again because he is pretty hard to sell. Then going on to the next player, it was again a player I'd never had before in Santi Cazorla. And he was in a 4-5-1 and he was also a centre attack and mid card. And I bought him for 4k and I was looking to sell him for around 6k to get a 2k profit but as you can see he just wasn't selling for 6k so I had to list him for 5,000 queens and he sold pretty quickly once um, I put him up for 5,000 queens. So that's obviously a 1k profit on Santi Cazorla but I won't be buying him again I don't think because he was pretty hard to sell and wasn't worth the hassle for 2k, uh, for 1k even. Then going on to the next two players, these are both again Rubinhos, one in a 4-4-2 formation, the other one in a 4-4-1-1 formation. And again, I bought these um, ranging from 9,500 to 10,500 like I said before, and both of them also sold for 12k, and they sold ridiculously quickly, so I'll definitely be doing Rubinhos again in my next episode. Then going on to the next two players, they're both pair lows, one in a 4-5-1 formation, the other one in a 4-4-1-1 formation. 
And uh, yeah, as you can see, this one here, I put a start price on him for 9,000 coins because after about one hour or two hours, something like that, he actually wasn't selling. So um, I decided to bump down his price a bit to make him sell. But it didn't really affect that because he sold for his buy it now price of 10k anyway. And so did this Perlo here. So that's um, a 2,500 coin profit on each of the Perlo scenes. So I did actually buy them for um, 7,500 coins. And Perlo is definitely a player I'll be doing again because um, he's been so good so far for selling and trading. And he's been making me quite a lot of profit. But this is actually the end of the video now, guys. And uh, I hope you've actually enjoyed watching. And also, um, put in the comment section down below uh, what players you think I should trade in the next series. Also, as well, in the description, I'll be putting in um, how much money in profit that I've made this episode. And also, I'll be putting in uh, the total profit made so far out of the first three episodes. So, yeah, um, if you have enjoyed the video, once again, please give it a thumbs up. And also, uh, check out my other trading videos on my channel.